Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this lesson, we will be taking the reciprocals and this is going to help us solve this linear inequality that we have. So let's get right into it. So let us first take a look at the conditions that we are presented with. So A, B and C are all greater than zero, so they're all positive. And we are given a relationship of these three expressions over here. And we are tasked to arrange these three unknowns in an ascending order. Okay, so right off the bat, we can look at these three fractions. And before we start to compare the values, we can first try to take the reciprocal. Okay, reciprocal means if there's a fraction, we are essentially flipping it around like this. This would be P plus C over A. This would be A plus C over B. All right, now a common mistake is that students tend to still retain the inequality signs. But that's a no-no because... We can see that if one third is greater than a quarter, if we were to flip the fractions around, take the reciprocal, we will get three and four whole numbers. Okay, and notice that the relationship is now inversed. Therefore, this simple example illustrates that we have to invert the inequality signs, such that this is now the new relationship. Okay, so whenever we have three variables like this, where all my expressions look pretty similar, Okay, we're going to try and make either the numerator or the denominator the same so we could start to compare. So our next step could be to add 1 to each of these fractions over here. Right, and doing so, sorry, this should be plus. And doing so, our values would still remain more or less the same. My relationship, or rather my inequality still holds. Okay. Now, what does adding 1 actually do for us? Now, well, adding 1 means for the first fraction, we're actually adding C over C, right? So this now becomes our new fraction. For our second fraction, we are essentially adding A over A. So we have A plus B plus C over A. And this is greater than, similarly, A plus B plus C over B. Now, notice that at this stage, all our numerators for all three fractions have now become the same value, which is the sum of A, B, and C. And since all three variables are positive, the sum must definitely be positive as well, which means we could divide by this sum of the three variables over here, leaving us with 1 over C greater than 1 over A greater than 1 over B. All right? And from here, it should be pretty easy to see we could analyze this one of two ways. Firstly, you could take the reciprocal again, or we could simply conclude that the smaller the denominator, the larger the value of the number itself. Okay, for me, I'll just take the reciprocal. And therefore, we have our answer over here. C is smaller than A, and A is smaller than B, and therefore this is in ascending order as required by the question. All right. So just to do a quick recap, we took the reciprocal of the fractions twice, once at the start, such that we obtained this, and then we added one whole to each of the fractions here, such that we were able to obtain the same numerator for all three fractions. All right? And divide by that sum, and you end up with 1 over C, 1 over A, 1 over B. From then on, take the reciprocal again, and then we will achieve our answer over here. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.